Okay, what do you do when you want to fix a country? You take that country down, and then you make a promise when you do your campaign. You make a campaign promise. We'll make America great again. America, we know the American dream is dead. Guess what? If you were half the president, you said you were, America dream would not be dead. If, if your campaign is to fix the country and make America great again, America should already be great because you live there. I disagree with people using America to make campaign promises when they should be using their own character and be of the right character. That's the way I feel. My husband and I, we decided to go on a trip down the street and we were going from, we had just gotten back from Muncie. We went through this one neighborhood <clears throat> and we saw the street that was taken, what well, thought, being fixed. They were fixing it. They were supposed to be fixing the road, I guess. And the guy fixing it gave me a funny look. I couldn't figure out why at first. But then I started writing on Facebook and suddenly it came to me. They're taking dead people out of their houses. They're pulling dead people out of their houses. That has to be what they're doing. My husband and I went, took a detour one time. We went down this one street that's supposed to be closed. Saw a big house right next to the plant and everything. The, uh, what you got, electric plant? Electricity plant? Guess what? Had a boarded up door on it. So people couldn't go in. Over millions of widows have been taken and killed so that they wouldn't talk about what's going on. Oh yeah, I slipped through their fingers, all right. They tried to do the same thing to me. And they used alligators to kill them. The ones they couldn't use alligators on, oh, they went after other ways with radiation and stuff like that expecting to kill them with that and they wanted them to call themselves targets and stuff like that they were they thought maybe just maybe they would get away with it over a million widows have been killed at the expense of our leader I'm not kidding I was looking over at a black van. Somebody was wiping the windshield. He had a beard, mustache. He wasn't Jesus. He really wasn't. In some ways, I wish he was, but he wasn't. There's a, a widow that was yellow color like, hunched over in the seat, back seat, with curlers in her hair. I asked Berta, I said, do you see that? She said, yeah. I asked my other friend, I said, do you see that? She said, yeah. I said, why isn't somebody doing something? Somebody should be doing something. This was at a gas station. People, they use cars from the airports. So that way they can't trace their license plates. They don't know what they're doing that way. Oh yeah. That's what they do. I was talking to the scammer and lo and behold, I heard a widow in the background scream. 
It was a death scream. He had a funny look on his face like, she shouldn't be hearing that. I had to pretend like I didn't hear it. Or he would have came right then and killed me. Mark Zuckerberg selling my name, selling my profile, and all that crap is what opened me up to where the enemy could get to me and try to kill me. But it was in the plans. That's what they wanted. I had been talking to my scammer. He left the phone on. He forgot to turn it off. He was raping a widow right in front of my eyes. In a room, no less. And I suppose they do that to the young women, too. That they take and abduct. The same people in New York City. There's two groups. Oh, yeah. Guess who's part of the group? Our so-called leader is part of the group. And yes, he's got a business that he does business in. And probably does sex trafficking, too. Thing is, they take young women and they abduct them, take them to the uh, business, and they tell them, they say, oh, you know, we're at the hotel now, and you're no longer in America. They lie to them. Because the hotel's in New York City. And then they, after they've abducted, abducted them. They take their clothes and clothing and they sell it. And they put garb on them. And then they put them in a pre-arranged marriage. And they say, this is your new husband. Oh yeah, the kids are fine. Her kids are just fine because they're left with grandma. And grandma has to take care of her kids. While she's in a new family taking care of somebody else's kids. From another country. Not kidding. That's what they're doing. Oh yeah. They sell the women online. And they say. Oh this is your new wife. Come and pick her up at our restaurant. Our establishment. So they go there. They pick up a women in garb. And they take her to their home, and she takes the place of their children's mother. While her children are being guarded and taken care of by grandma and grandpa. Because she's left them in the dust. She no longer cares about her children. She's been swooned into a new family. Not kidding. They're allowing this to happen. All of it. And I'm telling you. They're covering it up. The police, all of them, are covering it up. Because they're accepting it. Wake up, people. It's happening before your very eyes. Check up ceremony of the heart. That's one of the ceremonies that they use to kill the widows with. Not kidding, Google it if you don't believe me. Uh, I guess that's about it. Take my word for it. Something needs to be done real fast. Things need to change. And these people need to be caught. And I'm sure they have meetings as often as they can in the conference room of their hotel over in New York City. In Manhattan, New York, no less. <clears throat> yeah, business hotel. Oh, yeah. One big scam, all right. And guess who? Need I say more? Take care. God bless. Have a blessed day and good luck. Bye now.